To skip my long-winded review, click to 907 in this video to watch my full edited highlight reel of my trip to far north Queensland using my GoPro Hero 9. Hi, and welcome to this video where I'm gonna be talking about the brand new GoPro Hero 9. So the, <laughs> I'm currently sitting in my car because I didn't wanna do this in my office and I'm probably too insecure to do this out in public. So <laughs> uh, in the car is where it is. Um, now, first of all, I am a, I'm not a know-it-all when it comes to gadgets. So if you're looking for a know-it-all, wrong channel. <laughs> no, uh, I am just a regular consumer who wants to start doing different types of content. So I've got a different YouTube channel where I talk a lot about my hair and stuff, but I wanted to spice it up and just make different content. So I thought, doing adventure content would be great. Now, the last time I got into the GoPro game, I had the Hero 4 Black Edition. This is how far behind I am. Since I got mine for Christmas, I think it was like five years ago now, um, they've brought out four more versions. So they now have the Hero 9 Black Edition, which I bought yesterday. I picked this up for a sweet deal. I think it's usually um, six, no oh no. I think I got it for $5.99, so six, yeah, I got about $100 off it yesterday at JB Hi-Fi, and the reason that I wanted to go for this camera in particular was because I was at my friend Tasha's house, who is a marine biologist, and she just went to Lady Elliot Island and got all of this gorgeous footage of all the sea, sea animals that are down there, and I am going to Cairns in a week, and I thought, oh, fuck you know, maybe I want something like that. The stabilization on this thing looked insane. And then I remember when I had the GoPro 4, at the time when the Go the 4 Black Edition was like all the rage, um, at the time, this is this the stabilization, uh, stabilization in this thing was amazing <laughs> back then. Uh, but now when you look at the stabilization in the new cams, it's fucking crazy. I'm pretty much just doing this video to show you the difference between the Hero 4 Black and the Hero 9 Black. And I'm in the car right now as well. I've got my little, hang on, can you see it here? I've got my little GoPro holder here on the windscreen and I'm about to go for a drive to the shop to get a can of Diet Coke. So truly the stabilization was the selling point and the whole reason that I even considered buying a new one. Um, 4K, 5K, all that stuff they don't really mean much to me I guess it would to a real filmmaker um, but as long as like the image quality is easy to see and the stabilization is good then the product is well fucking worth it to me I would say so yeah that's what I'm doing so let's go for a car drive to get some Diet Coke <laughs> I'm literally the biggest dick flop ever sitting here to review all the footage and the <laughs> the first bit of footage that I got on the Hero 4 Black was actually a time lapse and then we managed to get proper 5k footage on the Hero 9 so <laughs> have a look at the uh, before and after like have a look at the time lapse and this actual clip next to each other and just have a look at the difference yourself. Okay, seeing as my first little test of this was a absolute failure, uh, we're gonna try it again in the park, but this time we're gonna be doing it running. This is 4K, 30 frames a second on the GoPro Hero 4 Black. All right, we're running in a straight line on a GoPro. Try it again this way. Now we're going to switch to the Hero 9. Now we're filming in 5K at 30 frames a second on the wide angle and we're going to go for a little jog again. Done! Now let's get back to the office and review that. Uh, we're back at the office and we're reviewing the footage and I must say the stabilization on this nine is freaking crazy. So I'm gonna play both these shots for you right here of what I did at the park. I actually probably could have jogged for a little bit longer, but it is spring here and birds are swooping. I nearly got killed by plovers. The other difference I'm noticing already in this picture 
is the original footage, just like the standard footage on the GoPro 9, um, is a lot more saturated and a lot more vibrant as opposed to what's on the 4. So that pretty much brings us to the end of this short consumer review of the GoPro Hero 9. Um, if I were to wrap it up, defo worth it, okay? So if you're somebody that appreciates you know, good quality footage, uh, you know, smooth motion, you don't want to buy the gimbal, um, I would definitely be investing in the Hero 9. The way they've done it is absolutely insane. It's almost like there's a gimbal inbuilt into the camera. Um, the Hero 4 though, like I will say, for something that's like five years old, um, it's still really sharp and really beautiful footage and editing that footage is quite good as well. It's just the shake. So I guess if you've got a gimbal for, you know, the older GoPro versions, it's probably more suitable, but you really don't even need one with this. I, I used this GoPro, this is all I used to do that jogging test. It was very smooth and very vibrant and very clear in the car. If anything, it made my skin look even better than it actually looks. So it's almost like it's got face tune in it or something. Um, the other cool thing as well, like if I'm gonna compare them both, the housing being part of the camera is like a really, really good bonus point. You don't have to worry about an extra piece of equipment. I love how the little slots fold out. Um, not sure what would happen if they, they broke though. Um, yeah, a little bit like scared about breaking those because if they break off, it looks like it's the only, you can't really replace that. Um, having the screen, obviously, being able to see what you're doing on the front and uh, on the front and on the back is really, really helpful. The settings are pretty easy and straightforward to understand in this as well. I mean, I've worked with GoPro before, so I already kind of knew what I was doing. Um, but overall, yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. It's sexy, and the the audio quality on it was really good as well. So. If, uh, if you're asking me for my real opinion, I would say definitely get the Hero Black 9. If you don't really care about like the whole shakiness or whatever, which I don't know why you would, uh, or why you wouldn't care about that, um, then go for the older model. But the 9 wins, hands down, for image quality, uh, for sound, and also for the stabilization. It's literally like it's on a gimbal. So, yeah. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, uh, and I'll see you whenever I make another video. Goodbye.